Okay, we're still working with the law of sines in section 3.3 in math C30. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an example of a obtuse triangle here. And I've got it drawn here, triangle ABC. And we're assuming that angle A is obtuse. So we're given this time two sides and an angle. And we want to calculate the unknown angle or two unknown angles and a side. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up what's given to us. We know that sine, or sorry, not sine, 7.6 over the sine of 28, because that would be side B over sine of, side, of the angle B. Okay, so that's side B, and that's angle B. Now we know that this is angle A, so this must be angle side A, and this is side C that's unknown there, and this is also unknown here, and this is unknown here. So now they're telling us to assume that angle A is obtuse, which is important because we need to know that in order to do this. So we're going to set it up so that we have 13.8 over the sine of the angle A, which is unknown to us. And now we'll calculate the angle. So what we do here is we just take 7.6 sine A. And that's going to equal 13.8 sine 28. So we can divide by 7.6 on both sides to get sine A by itself. Okay, so now when we do the work, we'll just plug it in here. Make sure your calculator's in degrees here. So here we have our work, 13.8 times the sine of 28. Some calculators you put the sine in first depending on what type of calculator they are. And divided by 7.6. So you get a decimal number. Don't eliminate it from your calculator, but we know that sine A then has to be 0 0.8524. So we second function sign that to get A. Angle A is equal to. Okay, now this is where it's important because we're assuming it's an obtuse angle. So when we go shift sign, we're going to get the reference angle. Okay, so angle A then has to be, if this is equal to, the reference angle is 50. 8.5 degrees okay we have to go 180 subtract that because it's an obtuse angle so simply do that on your calculator or in your head if you like and that would give us that angle A then equals 121.5 degrees Okay, so now that we have angle A and we know what angle B is, we can calculate angle C out by subtracting everything from 180 degrees. So for angle C, we know that that's going to equal 180 for a triangle. Subtract 121.5 degrees for angle A. Subtract 28 degrees for angle B and that will give us angle C. So if we do that on our calculator or in our head, we get 30.5 degrees. Okay, now we know that this angle here is 30.5 degrees. Now we can figure out side C by applying the law of signs one more time. We know that we are given that 7.6, so I'm just going to put a line here so that we can work here, 7.6 over the sine of the angle B, sine 28. Okay, that's uh, B over, side B over sine of side angle B. And now we're going to go side C, which is unknown to us, over the side, sine, pardon me, of angle C, which is 30.5 degrees, which we calculated. 
So then we can do our cross multiplication here again. 7.6 sine 30.5 equals C sine 28. Divide by sine 28 on both sides. And now we'll have a result that we can calculate here. So C is going to equal, well, let's work it out. 7.6 times 30.5 sine. Okay, divided by 28 sine. So I get 8.2 degree, or 8.2. And there's, two, or there's an example of an obtuse uh, sine value triangle uh, using the law of science to calculate the unknown uh, values. In our next uh, tutorial, we'll be looking at this problem here and drawing it out. And I'll save that one for our next tutorial as that'll take a little while.